Wham Bam Security Cam is almost a year old, and what a year it's been! As our Christmas gift to you, we've put together this mega episode featuring 100 of the most popular videos from past episodes. But be warned, this video is over two hours long and not for the faint of heart. Continue if you dare! Ovi's dad's van was parked on the street while a family walked past it in peace, unaware that the van was about to save them. According to our submitter, the vehicle that crashed into the Mercedes and the van was stolen, and the driver had been driving down residential streets at a high rate of speed. Thank God the van was parked where it would protect the pedestrians from injury. They might have been frightened, but not even the shattered glass caused them any harm. Ovi told us they were disappointed because they'd been planning on selling the van. Instead, it was totaled by this reckless driver. She also told us that when the driver got out of the vehicle, he was slurring his words and yelling at bystanders. Yeah, something tells me he was in no condition to be in the driver's seat, even if he hadn't stolen the SUV. This submitter's dad had just finished putting out the trash cans. Less than 10 seconds after he walked up the driveway, a blue Dodge Charger smashed into all three of their cans, plus a neighbor's. Not only did the reckless driver utterly obliterate the trash cans, the impact sent them flying into one of the submitter's cars. We have to wonder if maybe the driver was distracted by all the Christmas decorations. Of course, you might agree with the submitter's dad's theory. Watch what happened on what seemed like a quiet day in this Lake City mini storage parking lot. It looks like a sedan hit a white pickup truck, sending it rolling into the lot and into a parked Prius. It rolled several more times before finally coming to a stop, right side up, but severely damaged. The car that had caused the accident continued careening down the road with a destroyed front end. Miraculously, everyone survived the crash. Marcus sent us one of the craziest stories we've received on this channel so far. Take a look. Some guy poured gasoline all over Marcus's friend's Mazda before setting it on fire. It looks like he had some trouble getting the flames going, and he's lucky he didn't fry himself in the process. Firefighters arrived quickly and successfully extinguished the blaze before it caused any damage to the house. Later that morning, the police were able to catch the arsonist. He told them he'd mistakenly thought the car belonged to his ex-girlfriend. Thankfully, the Mazda was insured and Marcus's friend was paid 28,000 Australian dollars, over 18,000 US dollars, to replace the car. I guess the lesson here is to make sure you know whose car you're setting on fire. Just kidding. Obviously, don't set anybody's car on fire. If you look closely, you can see a driver outside of Beltran's house decide to make a U-turn, but that turned out to be a very bad decision. A pickup hit the back of the vehicle and lost control, smashing into Beltran's gate and taking out one of his awning supports. Police were called to the scene, and insurance claims were filed for both vehicles. Unfortunately, Beltran told us his property will have to be repaired out of his own pocket. This is why you shouldn't make illegal U-turns. This submitter's camera was pointed at an intersection when an elderly man wanted to cross the street. He waited patiently until it was his turn, but what he didn't notice was a FedEx driver who was waiting in the turn lane. Apparently, the FedEx driver didn't notice the elderly man either. As the man was almost halfway across the street, the truck driver barreled toward him. Miraculously, they missed each other, but that was too close for comfort. The FedEx driver immediately pulled over to make sure the old man was okay. First responders arrived, and so did the FedEx driver's boss. It looks like the old man was okay, if a bit shaken. He deserves free shipping for life after that close call. 
Check out what Tyler found while reviewing the videos from his doorbell camera at around 3 a.m. He couldn't believe his eyes, and since it was so late, part of him wondered if he was dreaming. The next morning, he watched it again, and there it was. A donkey had come up to his front door for a visit. After it said hello, it turned and went back to wherever it came from. Nicholas was at work at his family's business at 7.30 a.m. when the driver of a Cadillac suddenly veered across the street and into cars owned by their employees. The force of the impact pushed the first car into the one behind it and so on down the line, with a total of four vehicles being involved in the end. Some of the employees ran out to their damaged cars, and one of them attempted to open the door of the Escalade to see if the driver who caused all the mayhem was okay. According to Nicholas, the Cadillac's airbags had deployed. Despite that, the driver backed away from the wreckage and fled the scene, but he left a trail of leaking oil to where he abandoned his vehicle and left on foot. As of the release of this episode, Nicholas still hasn't heard what was going on with the driver, though he has his own suspicions. Jared's security cams captured a driver who apparently has it out for stop signs. Not only did they run their stop sign, they then smashed into another one, completely flattening it to the ground. According to Jareth, nobody was injured besides the poor stop sign. He said the driver claimed they'd been reaching for something when this happened. I don't know why people try this excuse when we all know they were probably distracted by their phones. Either way, this driver was definitely distracted and probably should have pulled over or waited until they'd gotten home. Thankfully, the pickup driver obeyed their stop sign. Otherwise, it might have been them getting run into instead of the stop sign. Marco's Tesla Model Y was parked safely in his driveway, or at least he thought it was safe, until a random guy walked by and took notice of it. The guy crossed the street to approach the Tesla while carrying a strange homemade tool that the Tesla's tire had no defense against. Seriously, what is that? Tell us your theory in the comments. Whatever it was, it successfully punctured a hole in the Tesla's tire. The guy was talking to himself in an unknown language, and Marco told us he has no idea what triggered the guy to commit this act of violence. Marco called the police and made a report. He's concerned that this guy is just walking around the neighborhood with some kind of improvised weapon. It costs 225 US dollars to fix the tire, and the Tesla will live to drive another day. Just before leaving for work one morning, this submitter heard a loud crash outside his house. Let's find out what had caused it. Our submitter told us this happened a mile away from a school. The driver of the flipped vehicle claimed her accelerator had gotten stuck. After an investigation, police determined she'd actually been looking at her phone and hadn't noticed the car in front of her. She swerved in an attempt to avoid a collision and lost control, ending up in the ditch. We've said it before on our other channels, and we'll say it again here, stay off your phone while driving. This submitter had an interesting visitor one night. This gentleman seemed to be having a hard time standing up, but that didn't dissuade him from trying to get into our submitter's house. After a few minutes of trying to get the door open, he decided to ask for a favor. Let's listen in. Can I take a shower, please? Our submitter was disinclined to acquiesce to his request. Rejected, he stomped away. Okay. Hopefully, he eventually ended up at his own house. A young hawk was fascinated with his reflection in the glass roof of Chris's Tesla Model Y. Chris explained that the light was reflecting perfectly to enable Tony to admire himself. Hmm, Tony the Hawk. I don't get it. Eventually, Tony flew off, probably looking for a real hawk to be friends with. See the island in the middle of the street in front of Chris's house? Keep an eye on it. A 
a driver ran over a tree before narrowly missing another one and a parked car. Chris says this happens all the time. He even sent us another clip of a different driver doing the same thing in the opposite direction. In both cases, the drivers carried on like nothing had happened. Check out the costly mistake the driver of this red car made. According to Daniel, the young driver continued through a stop sign without a good view of cross traffic. As a result, she collided with a car and the impact pushed her into another car. Instead of hitting the brakes, she accidentally accelerated and slammed into Daniel's wall. We can see the entire wall shake. Check out the cracks spidering up the wall, not to mention the gaping hole where her bumper punctured it. The driver was shaken but uninjured. Things escalated quickly after her stepdad showed up. He told everyone to calm down and that his insurance coverage would pay for the damage. But they soon discovered his insurance policy had expired. This resulted in the stepdaughter spending a few days in jail while the other parties involved filed lawsuits against her stepdad after he failed to pay for the damage as agreed. In the end, the guy agreed to pay for the damage out of his own pocket and the stepdaughter was released from jail. What a mess! Daniel told us he and his family love watching our videos while eating breakfast every morning. Hey guys, we hope you liked watching your own video. Dustin told us he sees all sorts of interesting things happen at the liquor store he owns. One night, his security cams captured an attempted break-in. Okay, maybe it was more than just an attempted break-in. Get it? Because he broke the glass? Hey, I'm just trying to lighten things up. I'm sure this was very frustrating for Dustin. He actually provided us with some of his own narration. Let's get his take on what happened. Here's my wake up call this morning. Walks up, let's throw a rock at this guy's door. Um, it's like he's wearing Vincent Van Gogh underwear. We agree with his sentiments, but we can't play all of them here. This is a family-friendly channel, Dustin. It looks like a group of burglars was working together because a second car also peeled out. We're starting to see more and more brazen criminals on this channel, but they don't seem to be getting any smarter. Seriously, he had to smash the window out to realize he wouldn't be able to bend the metal bars? Come on, man. The police arrived five minutes after the burglars left. Sadly, they're still at large, and Dustin paid 600 US dollars out of his own pocket to fix the damage. Dustin previously sent us a video of a break-in attempt at his liquor store, and he's back with another one. This time, four burglars pulled up in a black Kia Soul and tried to pry open the door with crowbars. Dustin was alerted to the situation and headed that way after calling the police. As you can see, getting the door open proved more difficult than they'd probably anticipated. After a while, it looks like they were going to give up, but something made them decide to try again. One of them was rewarded with some instant justice when he fell on his butt. Surprisingly, they did manage to get the door open, but then they had to contend with the metal bars blocking their path. Even against the crowbars and a solid kick, the bars held firm. Seriously, didn't they look through the glass in the first place and notice the bars? I guess they probably thought they could break through them just like the door. Thankfully, they were in for some disappointment. After all that, they left empty-handed and, sadly, just before the police arrived. The license plate of the Kia is Colorado CVOS06, and as far as we know, the criminals still haven't been apprehended. Dustin wanted to shout out the deputies from his local sheriff's office, as well as the loyal customers who support his small business. It's just too bad those would-be booze bandits are too entitled to support Dustin like his customers do. 
He told us a coyote came wandering through the neighborhood one night. Maybe it's just the poor quality, but that seems like a very large, healthy looking coyote. Check out his backyard camera and you can see Chris and his family inside the house, blissfully unaware of the vicious beast lurking outside. Okay, we know coyotes aren't really that scary, but Chris sure jumped when it started howling right on the other side of the wall. David's security cam recorded a pickup losing control on the slick road before hitting his mailbox. Okay, maybe hitting wasn't a strong enough word. The pickup completely obliterated David's brick mailbox and the impact spun the truck 180 degrees. According to David, the young driver was frightened and not thinking straight, so at first he tried to flee. He didn't get far before high centering his pickup on the wreckage of the mailbox he'd just destroyed. After getting stuck, he was on the hook for the 1300 US dollars that his dad had to pay David for the damage. David told us the driver's dad was awesome and after having a tow truck come and winch the pickup off the mailbox, he cleaned cleaned up the debris that had fallen in the road and yard. Not only that, he installed a temporary mailbox until a new brick one could be built. Responsibility was taken in this story. Andrew was already at work when he started getting phone notifications from his security cam. His brother went to check on the driver who mumbled some slurred words that sounded like, I think I hit a curb. No bro, you hit a parked SUV. Thankfully, the driver was arrested at the scene for DUI, but Andrew told us the vehicles he hit were never fixed. Dan's security cam began recording when two homeless people started hanging around the back of his building. That on its own wasn't too concerning, but take a look at what they did next. Apparently, they thought it would be a good idea to start a fire using some cardboard boxes and some firewood left outside for a grill. The most obvious problem with this plan was that they started it right next to a wooden ramp. Unsurprisingly, the flames quickly spread to the ramp and the fire grew rapidly out of control. It's hard to tell, but it looks like one of them tried to throw some water on the fire from this bin. This particular camera also recorded audio and we're pretty sure that's water sizzling in the flames. Sadly, it wasn't even close to enough to extinguish the blaze. So guess what they did next? <laughs> yep, they took off, leaving the chaos they'd caused behind them. Dan told us the fire reached the internet cable and stopped his cameras from recording just before firefighters arrived. We can barely hear their sirens in the background. Thank God they got there before the building burned down. The ramp was destroyed and the wall blackened by the flames. And Dan's insurance provider cut him a check for 4,000 US dollars to repair the damage. He told us he and his son Devin are huge fans of all the Wham Bam channels, but he wishes he had something to send us that wasn't such a hot mess. An arson investigation was conducted, but the individuals responsible still haven't been located. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about a bad situation, which is something our next submitter also experienced. Let's watch what happened just as helplessly as he did. Mother Golly G. Willikers, yes, that's definitely his real name, told us he had to park his under six month old Tesla on the street while working on his wife's car in the driveway. We have to commend him for not freaking out until after the young driver had hit his Tesla. At least he was giving her the benefit of the doubt. He told us his neighbor's daughter had just gotten her driver's license. We're not sure how she managed to pass the driving test without knowing how to back up safely. Thankfully, there wasn't any frame damage, but it still cost 1100 US dollars to replace a wheel, tire, and some body components. Since the new driver wasn't insured yet, he worked out a deal with her parents. While a front end loader was clearing some trees, one of them fell right as Zachary was walking by. Thankfully, he only sustained a few small scratches as the tree mostly missed him. Zachary's wife asked him to come inside where he'd be safe and he agreed after that close call.
Suddenly, the loader kicked up a log and sent it shooting through their window. Zachary took their kids upstairs, which was actually safe, before cleaning up the glass that had been shattered all over the room. They found the log tangled up in the blinds. Zachary told us he laughed and told his wife, I don't think it's any safer indoors. Henry's car was parked on a hot sunny day when all of a sudden, whoa, did you see that? Henry told us that when he found this hole punched through his window, he thought someone had tried to break into his car. When he reviewed his security cam footage, he discovered something had actually broken out. He remembered he'd left a new can of deodorant spray on top of his gym bag. When temperatures that day exceeded 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the can exploded. Yikes! Thankfully, nobody was injured by the airborne antiperspirant. The real question is, how did Henry's car smell after this deodorant detonation? Your eyes do not deceive you. Those are horses, and not just any horses. Those are wild horses that, according to our submitter, like to occasionally roam the neighborhood. He told us he sees them several times per year, but he's never seen this many at once. They also brought some quail friends along. Hey, does the HOA know about this? After a while, the horses went back to the public property they live on and our submitter grabbed a shovel to clean up the gifts they'd left behind. We think that's a small price to pay for such unique visitors. Garrett owns the apartment building this camera is installed on. At around 2.30 a.m. on Christmas Eve, he got a call from one of his tenants. Apparently, someone in a Ford Explorer had been having some fun in the snow when everything went terribly wrong. After he smashed into the brick wall, the driver just sat there for a moment. Finally, they decided to flee the scene without taking responsibility for their actions. Little did they know, the cameras were rolling, and they'd even left their license plate behind. Garrett promptly contacted the police, who were later able to track the guy down. They gave him three tickets for hit and run, failure to notify police of an accident, and imprudent speed. Garrett already got a quote to fix his building, and we're hoping that guy learned his lesson. Okay, we need a break from chaos. Maybe we can calm down a little with this video from Emma. Well, that wasn't any better. It looks like the driver of a red vehicle was attempting to make a U-turn when a black car lost control and smashed into it. The black car continued and crashed into cars parked in a lot, getting some air in the process. According to Emma, the occupants of the black car tried to flee the area, but police caught up to them and brought them back to the scene of the collision. Let's watch that one more time. Brutal. This submitter was working from home when he heard tires screeching outside his house. After pulling a U-turn and nearly hitting a parked pickup, an SUV stopped at the end of his cul-de-sac and three people piled out. One of them ran through our submitter's yard as well as a neighbor's. When our submitter saw this happening, he assumed the people were going to abandon their vehicle, but then the guy ran back. By this time, our submitter had decided to go outside to get a better look at the vehicle and license plates. Two of the individuals walked over and spoke with him, but he told us they weren't making much sense. Realizing the potential danger of a three against one altercation, our submitter casually walked away. It looks like he snapped a photo of the SUV as he left. Eventually, they all got back in the Escalade and took off. Not long after, the police came driving through looking for them. Apparently, they'd been driving through fences and yards and damaging other property. Our submitter wondered why that one guy had gone running through his and his neighbor's yards, so he decided to investigate. Check out what he found stashed next to a shed behind some bushes. Our submitter called the police non-emergency number and reported his discovery. An officer quickly responded and collected the evidence. Our submitter was asked to identify the suspect after he was arrested. He also provided copies of all his security cam videos. The suspect pled guilty to a weapons charge, among others, and is now serving a five-year prison sentence. 
sentence. Our submitter told the police he works in the data forensics industry. One of the cops said, of all the places in town, they picked the absolute worst. Paul's son was pulling away from their house with his sister in the passenger seat of his six-week-old car. Why does it seem like the new cars are always the ones getting smashed? Even worse, the other driver then fled the scene, making it a hit and run. Paul told us this is the second time his son has been rear-ended. That's not cool. The police are still looking for the offender, but thankfully, they were able to get the license plate number from the security cam footage. Since this only just happened, they don't have a repair estimate yet. William had just purchased a food truck that hadn't been used in three years. The first thing he wanted to do was test all the equipment, starting with the griddle. But that didn't go so well, as you'll see. His buddy only got the hair on his arm burnt off while William thought his hair was on fire. Luckily, there were no serious burns, but I think they might need a little time to cool off. William wanted to shout out his wife, who calmly watched the whole thing. A little too calmly. This emitter sent us a clip of some hoppy bunnies having a great time one night. Just look at that hang time. I could watch this for hours. It was a nice, quiet morning at Carl's house. Little did he know, his Fiat parked in his driveway was about to get a rude awakening. A vehicle parked farther up the street had been left in neutral and rolled down the hill. Its wheels turned just perfectly so that it ended up smashing into the Fiat, pushing it against Carl's house. Thankfully, it didn't go any farther after knocking down Carl's fence as he told us there's a highway at the end of the street. All he could do was laugh about it as he recognizes it could have been worse. At least nobody was hurt. He's still waiting to hear back from the insurance company. Watch what happened moments after David and his mom had pulled up to their house. Another driver was allegedly intoxicated and drove directly into a streetlight before smashing into a parked flatbed truck. David's mom called 911 while neighbors joined them and rushed over to make sure the driver was okay. First responders arrived five minutes later. The drunk driver's car was totaled and they were obviously found at fault for the collision. Shout out to David's mom for rendering aid when it was needed. In broad daylight, this suspicious car pulled up near Ben's house just after his wife had left for the day. Two guys got out of the car and made their way to the front door. Incredibly, they started using a crowbar in an attempt to break open the door. What they didn't know was that Ben's wife had already called the police about a suspicious vehicle in the neighborhood and they were already on their way. The burglars managed to break down the door after one of them kicked it open and they rushed inside. Just then, the police arrived, pulling up right in front of the getaway vehicle. The driver sped away, leaving behind one of the criminals who'd been waiting outside the house. The driver pulled a U-turn around the police car as the rest of the criminals ran across the street to reach it. The cops were close behind, but all the would-be thieves dove into the car before the police were able to catch up. Ben didn't tell us if they were ever apprehended, but thanks to the prompt police response, they hadn't had time to steal anything from the house. After the cops returned to the scene, they told Ben to be prepared to find the house destroyed by the break-in. Ben told us a mess wouldn't surprise him because, as he puts it, we have kids. It was a cold, snowy day when this Nissan smashed into the back of Domingo's neighbor's car, pushing it into Domingo's pickup. Apparently, the SUV had slipped on the ice. Police were called to the scene while Domingo and his neighbor got the driver's insurance information. In the end, both the Nissan and his neighbor's car had to be towed away. 
This submitter was awakened by a loud noise one night, but since he didn't hear anything else after waking up, he figured he dreamt it. The next morning, however, he discovered that the sound had been very real. His neighbor's tree had fallen on his house, ripping down his power lines on the way down before landing on his car in the driveway. Portland General Electric quickly showed up to disconnect the power before another company arrived to remove the tree. Our submitter was able to get his car out from under it, and thankfully, the car only had a few minor dents. Our submitter sent us some awesome drone footage of the wreckage. Yes, I know a drone isn't a security cam, but this was too cool to pass up. He told us his neighbor paid for all the damage, but only later when it rained did he discover that the tree had also punctured a hole in the roof. In the end, they were able to get about two years of firewood out of the fallen tree. Who's laughing now, tree? It's time for cuteness capture. Hey, this must be the wrong clip. Who edits these things? I guess some people might find this creature cute. Terry's security cam captured a driver dropping a passenger off across the street in his neighborhood. Watch what happened when the driver tried to turn around. The driver of a van tried to swerve out of the way, but they couldn't avoid making contact. Both drivers stuck around to exchange information. Terry was home at the time, so he walked over to offer his footage and... Wait, what are those? <clears throat> Sorry, we're just kidding. So far, neither driver has contacted Terry for his footage of the collision. Here's a clip in which snowy roads caused some extra trouble. Charlie told us it had been snowing a lot and freezing every night. On the way to run an errand, his Land Rover Discovery lost traction and slid before slamming into the corner of the fence. It then slipped the rest of the way down the driveway. According to Charlie, that Land Rover is the fourth car that has been claimed by this cursed corner. They're still waiting for a repair estimate, but he adds, what an expensive weekend. Daco sent us a clip of some kids walking on the other side of the street in front of his apartment building. Everything seemed fine until one of them found a rock and proceeded to throw it across the road and right through the window above the building's entrance. Yeah! Daco heard the glass shatter from inside, but when he went to investigate, the kids were already long gone. After finding the rock inside the foyer and checking the security cam, police were called to the scene. Shards of glass had to be cleaned up around the site, and the property managers covered the hole with plastic and tape until their insurance provider pays for repairs. Daco also said, with a pitch like that, the kid who threw the rock should join either the Angels or the Dodgers. He told us they could use a throw like that. Dylan's Miata was in a parking lot while he was at work one rainy night. Apparently, the Jeep driver had been looking for somewhere to park, and according to him, Dylan's car was too small for him to see in the bad weather. I'm sorry, but how did he manage to hit the only vehicle in the entire parking lot? The Jeep driver agreed to pay for the damage without Dylan needing to involve the police. Fixing the Miata cost 2,000 US dollars. <laughs> Call that over a freshly painted fence. Brad co-owns an apartment complex, and this tenant was upset that Brad had painted a fence, which he had permission from the other owner to do. After talking with him, it turned out the tenant thought the camera was pointing too much in his direction, and there were also other issues he was unhappy about. In the end, everything was settled after Brad gave him a formal letter requiring him to pay for a new camera to avoid getting the police involved. Nathan told us that a mother duck decided to nest in one of his flower beds. He monitored the situation for about three weeks before the eggs successfully hatched. Aww, look at those adorable ducklings. The next day, his security cam captured them following mom to the nearest body of water. Look at them waddling away. All eight of them? Ten? We'll just say the whole flock. 
That's Nick driving along in the black car when traffic began slowing down. He slowed down too, but he wasn't expecting what happened next. The car behind him was rear-ended by another car, then pushed into Nick. Insurance claims were filed, and the damage to Nick's car was fixed for $2,500 US dollars. It's a good thing he had this footage to help him with his claim. That reminds me, if you have any security cam clips to share, send them using the link in the description, and maybe your video will end up on Wham Bam Security Cam. It seemed to be a quiet night outside of Gabby's boyfriend's house, but that wouldn't last long. All of a sudden, a white van came speeding up the street, sideswiping a parked car before smashing into some gates. The driver must have been totally out of control for that to happen. Ah, uh, now it all makes sense. See those guys running away from the van? Yep, one of them was the driver. According to Gabby, the van had been stolen by those three guys, and in their attempt to evade the police, they abandoned the van while it was still rolling, which explains its uncontrolled path. One guy was even brave enough to run in front of the driverless van. The three criminals booked it down the street, but the police followed close behind. If we look closely, we can see the guys tried to escape by climbing a fence, only to be greeted by a neighbor's giant dog. We can't see what happened after they jumped the fence, but what we do know is that the police were quickly able to arrest them. Gabby told us the gate protected her boyfriend's vehicle from getting smashed by the van, and fixing the gate will cost about 2,000 US dollars. This submitter's security cams were recording when the occupants of two vehicles began talking to someone walking in front of our submitter's house. We can't hear what they were saying, but the situation escalated before two of the occupants jumped out and began threatening the guy they'd been talking to. After briefly getting physical, they continued to chase the guy up and down the street. At just the right moment, our submitter's father returned from running errands and pulled into the driveway. The man who was being chased had the good sense to run toward him in the hopes that his attackers would leave him alone. Our submitter's father chose to keep his distance and avoid getting involved, clearly confused about what was going on. The guy in the hoodie who'd been the first to get physical followed the victim to the door. Let's listen in on their conversation. Yeah, right, bro. Why would he believe you after you already assaulted him? Help me. The perpetrators finally decided to leave the area, and the victim told our submitter's father that they'd stolen some of his belongings. Our submitter told us that the police were contacted, and they were able to track down both vehicles and detain the occupants. He didn't give us any other details, but what a scary situation. He did tell us he loves our channels, even though they sometimes make him paranoid. But he keeps watching them because there's always something to learn. Ayrton's brother's car was parked on the street one night when another car smashed into it rather slowly. The driver didn't stick around, making this a hit and run. Since the car's license plate isn't visible in the video, nothing could be done to catch the driver. So Ayrton's brother had to go through his own insurance provider to fix the damage. Check out this garbage truck with some serious attitude. <laughs> There's gotta be some sort of joke here. Put yours in the comments. Whatever went wrong here, the worker got out and fixed the issue. Alan sent us a crazy encounter he caught on his personal critter cam. 
A deer was drinking out of a water trough when, out of nowhere, it was attacked by an owl. Apparently, the owl swooped in from the neighbor's roof, but only scared off the deer without injuring it. Owls can be extremely territorial, so be careful out there, Alan. Alan told us that there's a water shortage where he lives right now, so he put out the trough for the local wildlife. Wham bam, that's awesome, man. Good looking out. Matt? Achoo! Oh, sorry, I misread his name. Anyway, Matt was sitting on his couch watching TV when he heard what sounded like a collision outside. Sure enough, the driver of a blue SUV had cut the corner too closely and sideswiped an orange SUV whose driver had attempted to yield to them, probably realizing the blue SUV wasn't going to make it. Matt gave the driver of the Subaru a copy of his security cam footage to use in their insurance claim. Later, a neighbor who's related to the Subaru driver told Matt the owner of the blue SUV was claiming to her insurance provider that the collision was the Subaru driver's fault. Thanks to Matt's footage, that claim was quickly disproven. Seriously, how did she not realize she wasn't going to make it? Scott's security cam faces an intersection and captured a brutal collision. It looks like two drivers with green lights were passing through an intersection when a van driver ran their red light, hitting them. First responders arrived promptly, and Scott told us that all three drivers were taken away in ambulances. It seems like that light had been red for a long time. We have to wonder how the van driver didn't see it. A guy with a bicycle paid a visit to Sarah's porch. As he approached her front door, he ducked down as if he was trying to sneak past the doorbell camera. Sorry, buddy, the camera view is way wider than you thought. It looks like he knocked on the door before waiting to see if someone would answer. When nobody did, he decided to leave, but not without a package that had been waiting on the porch. The porch pirate made his getaway on his bike. I guess that's the price you pay if you don't answer the door for this guy. Even knowing that, you couldn't pay me to open the door for this stranger. Sarah said her son Jackson told her to send us this video. Thanks Jackson, sorry about your package. Jared's Kia was parked on the street in front of his house when it had an unexpected encounter with their neighbor's pickup. The neighbor admitted to being distracted by her phone when she drifted into the back of the Kia. If you've been subscribed to any of our channels for a while, you already know how we feel about people who use their phones while driving. Good thing Jared had a security cam that made the insurance process smooth. Jesse was attempting to hook up a trailer when he admits he made a costly mistake. He didn't think he needed to back up anymore and decided to move the trailer the rest of the way by hand. Unfortunately, the trailer got away from him and shattered his SUV's rear window. After making an insurance claim, he was able to get the glass replaced and the dents fixed. This submitter owns a self-storage business that he keeps under the watchful eyes of several security cams. Thanks to them, these tenants couldn't get away with the damage caused by their driving skills. After driving through the gate, the tenant continued while his friend hitched a ride on the back of the truck. Sadly, the driver took a turn too tightly and hit the corner of a building, nearly launching the other guy off the back of the truck. See kids, this is why you don't skip arm day. Or ride on a vehicle's rear bumper. It looks like these two house sparrows could see what was about to happen and took off before things got ugly. Sadly, in spite of our submitter's best efforts to make the tenant pay for the damage, he couldn't escape the ugliness of making a $2,500 US dollar claim with his own insurance provider. He explained that the truck had been borrowed from the tenant's employer and they refused to provide any insurance information. The tenant's own insurance provider also refused to pay for the damage. After realizing too late that he couldn't make this turn, the driver finally took the long way around. What a brilliant idea! Our submitter told us he has a lot more crazy incidents to share with us and we can't wait to see them. If you have your own security cam videos to share, send them using the link in the description and you might see them in a future episode. 
JR sent us some security cam clips from what seems like his own personal wildlife refuge outside his house. Not only did these cute foxes come to visit, but some deer can also be seen in the background. They must be friends as they seemed quite happy to see each other. I guess we finally know what the fox says. JR wanted us to shout out his sons Joshua and Jason and his wife Sue. He said they're all regular viewers and they're happy to contribute something to the channel. This submitter was at his child's soccer game when a FedEx driver pulled into his driveway to deliver a package. Uh oh, we've seen enough videos on this channel to know that if there's a delivery driver involved, things aren't going to go well. Sure enough, watch what happened when the driver jumped out of the delivery van. He must have forgotten to put the van in park because it rolled forward, only stopping after running into our submitter's garage door. The driver didn't notice what was happening until it was too late for him to do anything. He ran back, visibly horrified at what had occurred. Then instead of sticking around, he jumped back in the van and took off. Thankfully, our submitter had this footage proving what had happened and contacted FedEx as soon as he uncovered the truth. He told us that FedEx said they'd pay for the repairs, until they found out that fixing the garage door would cost 4200 US dollars. According to our submitter, that price was a bit more than they typically get approved for payment. FedEx was supposed to send someone to examine the damage, but so far nobody has been by, and our submitter is now having difficulty reaching anyone at FedEx. He doesn't think he should have to pay for the damage out of his own pocket or use his homeowner's insurance. What do you think? Should he just drop it or should he stick to his guns? He hopes by sharing his story on Wham Bam Security Cam, maybe his case will get escalated and FedEx will finally fix the damage. We'll let you know if we hear any updates. There's a security camera installed on the building where Andre works. It faces an intersection he says is notorious for accidents. This video proves his point. A red pickup driver failed to yield while turning across oncoming traffic. After a car hit the truck, both vehicles spun around 180 degrees. First responders quickly arrived at the scene, but as far as Andre knows, everyone walked away from the collision. He offered this footage to the police, but they didn't need it since the driver of the pickup had admitted fault at the scene. This happened near Anthony's apartment complex. As his neighbor was arriving, he noticed two strangers had followed him through the gate. Wary, he stayed in his car with the doors locked. We can see one of the guys walking behind his vehicle. But when the other guy walked up, things got serious. The guy in the lighter hoodie produced a gun and held it up against the glass, pulling at the door handles with his other hand. Anthony's neighbor acted quickly and threw the car into reverse. Both guys seemed like they were trying to stop him, but Anthony's neighbor didn't slow down and got out of there. At 2 a.m., police arrived and asked to see Anthony's footage. The next day, a detective spoke with him and told him he suspects the guys were also involved in the mugging of an Uber driver just a few streets over. This video shows why it's imperative not to fall asleep at the wheel. According to our submitter, that's exactly what happened to the driver of a blue truck before they smashed into his company's work truck. First responders arrived and helped both drivers with their injuries. Thankfully, everyone is expected to make a full recovery. Unsurprisingly, our submitter said both vehicles were undrivable and his company bought a new truck. Peter was eagerly awaiting the delivery of a new GPU valued at 529 US dollars. But when the delivery guy came to drop it off, he couldn't be bothered to take those last few steps and just threw it onto Peter's porch. We're sure he didn't know the item inside was valuable, but Peter was still annoyed by his lack of care. He told us he contacted the delivery company through X and they asked for his tracking number so they could begin an investigation. 
Sammy's porch camera caught this very confused woodpecker pecking at the lens. Does anyone know what kind of woodpecker this is? It's hard to identify from nothing more than its yellow head. If you think you know, put it in a comment. Here's a puzzling submission from Scott. Keep an eye on the red car stopped at a red light. Wait, where are you going? The light's still red. Ouch! That trucker had no chance to stop after the driver ran his red light after already stopping. What would possess that driver to do something like this? Post your theories in the comments while we watch it one more time. It seemed like a normal day outside of Jake's restaurant, but that was all about to change when the driver of a red Jeep ran a red light. The Jeep hit a white vehicle with the right-of-way, which caused the Jeep to flip and roll several times into another SUV waiting at the red light. That vehicle was then pushed into a parked car, bringing the total number of damaged vehicles to four. Thankfully, a cyclist was spared when he managed to get out of the way just in time. It's unclear if the bicycle itself was damaged, but that's probably the least of the Jeep driver's worries, as you'll see in a moment. Jake ran outside of his restaurant after the collision and called 911 while the occupants of the Jeep fled the scene. According to Jake, the Jeep was actually stolen, and when the police arrived, they were able to collect fingerprints from the steering wheel. Using the prints, they were able to track down the men who'd stolen the Jeep before causing this multi-vehicle collision. Junior received a disturbing call from a neighbor in the middle of the night telling him his car's front and rear windows had both been smashed. Nothing appeared to be stolen, so he watched his security cam footage. Check out what he found. Not only did the vandals smash his car's windows, they also threw rocks at his uncle's windows, breaking one. Police were called to the scene. They showed up about an hour later to take a report. Junior thinks he knows who the vandals were. Since this incident, Junior and his uncle park their cars behind a locked gate at the back of their driveway. Laura was outside enjoying a peaceful evening. Sadly, that was quickly about to change. Laura told us she thought the pickup was going to hit her and her dogs, but thankfully it swerved at the last moment. Instead, it hit the two vehicles parked in front of her house. We're betting that was a little too close for comfort. The pickup driver pushed the Miata out of the way before driving through the yard and what looks like a ditch. They eventually managed to get back on the road and took off. Laura has tried everything she can think of, even going on the news, to find the driver responsible. The only other lead she has is the red paint the pickup left behind on one of the vehicles. So far, she hasn't been able to identify the driver, but she hasn't given up. If you have any information that might help, contact us and we'll forward the information to Laura. Anna left her Tesla Model Y parked in a church parking lot while she and others went to set up their Vacation Bible School event. She left for just a moment when the wind whipped up and carried away two canopies set up in the parking lot, sending one of them straight at her Tesla. Thankfully, Anna's friend David ran to her Model Y's rescue. Phew! He successfully saved the Tesla and another parked vehicle from the chaotic canopy which could have covered the cars in cuts. Anna said that she gave David a big hug for saving her Tesla from any damage. What a nice story. We don't know if this quite qualifies as a cute cam submission, but we'll let you decide. What we do know is that the submitter didn't think anything about this was cute. Mark told us they have a dog door in their backyard to let their dogs Cookie and Ozzy go outside whenever they want to. Late one night, this backfired big time when a skunk came to visit. The dogs rushed out to defend their residence, but we all know skunks have their own defenses. One of the dogs was a victim of this defense system before helpfully darting back into the house, carrying the pungent scent of skunk with it. Mark told us it took a lot 
lot of work to rid the house of the skunk smell, but just when they were about to claim victory, the skunk struck again. Ten days after that first visit, it came back. Evidently, Cookie and Ozzy hadn't learned their lesson and got sprayed a second time. Mark and his wife Christine were newlyweds at the time. Hey, if you survived a double skunking together, you should be able to survive anything. It looks like he might make it. That poor mailbox never stood a chance. When Adam contacted FedEx, they told him they didn't know what he was talking about. Eventually, he just decided to fix the damage himself. I wouldn't suggest having your materials shipped by FedEx, Adam. If you thought that driver was bad, the next one's even worse. Jack wasn't at work when his workplace's security cam caught a driver losing control and smashing into a fence and sign, barely missing a pickup that was pulling out. Apparently, the driver had taken a corner too fast. Jack's co-workers told him emergency services arrived within five minutes and that nobody was injured. One quiet morning, an unknown driver came slowly up the street near our submitter's house. There's nothing too strange about that, but the driver soon turned around and came back. I've got a bad feeling about this. Sure enough, he parked his car barely within the security cam's frame, then got out and walked up pretty confidently. After double checking his surroundings for any watchful eyes, he started removing the motor from the boat. He kept checking for anyone nearby the whole time. Of course, our submitter's security cam was watching, but there was nothing it could do to stop the theft. Once the guy had successfully detached the motor, he tried to carry it away. It looks like it was a little heavier than he'd thought, but he eventually got it back to his car and left. Our submitter made a police report, and the story was featured on the local news, but the thief was never identified. The boat motor was worth 3,000 US dollars, but it looks like our submitter will have to get a new one. What do you think caused this? Brian and his family were enjoying dinner and a movie when they heard a loud crunch from the garage. When Brian went to check out the sound, he saw the garage door had been bent inward. It was an extremely cold night, and by the time he got his jacket and boots on to go outside, the delivery vehicle that had caused the damage was pulling out of the driveway. We're not sure what happened, but the driver was completely out of the front seat before the vehicle started moving forward. Did they forget to set the brake? At first, Brian contacted the police and his home insurance provider, but they told him that the process should be handled by the delivery company. After three weeks, the company finally agreed to pay for the damage. Brian's extremely thankful he had footage of the incident, or they might not have taken responsibility. Brian has been watching the Wham Bam channels for about a year now, and he says his son Adrian loves our videos. Hey there, Adrian. We hope you like security cam, too. In this clip from Fabian, there in the black shirt, he and his co-workers were beginning work on a construction site when Fabian noticed the ground was cracking right under the truck. They decided to dump the load to lighten the truck before trying to move it off the buckling metal cover. That sounds like a good idea, but he probably should have gotten a little farther away before trying it. Fabian grabbed his co-worker next to him and pulled him along as they fled from the teetering truck. Thankfully, the truck didn't topple completely and nobody was seriously injured, but we imagine his co-worker's arm was sore. Okay, it looks like the Honda bump has found its way over to Wham Bam security cam as well. Edward told us this driver crashed into his broccoli pizza and pasta franchise that was still under construction. After the accident, the woman ran away, but she neglected to take her purse with her and the police used the contents to identify her. According to Edward, she was found and fined by the cops. Edward told us his son Joe Ed loves our channels and helped him submit this video. Thanks for sending us this channel's first Honda bump.
Remember Michael from episode 18? He's back with yet another bear submission. This hairy guy was trying to climb into a coffin? Michael told us he planted strawberries in this Halloween decoration to keep them off the ground and away from slugs. That's pretty clever, but it wasn't tall enough to keep the berries safe from bears. Evidently, he wasn't frightened by the skeletons either. I forgot to grab those when I went up today. Because they were great. A pickup truck was backing out of a driveway across from Brian's house at the same time that a Mercedes was coming down the street. Something must have been distracting the Mercedes driver because she drove right into the pickup's rear bumper. The truck's bumper cover has to be replaced and there was significant damage to the Mercedes as well. Two people from the house the Mercedes driver had left ran after them while Brian grabbed a broom to clean up the debris in the road. When a police officer arrived on the scene, he promptly called a tow truck to come get the Mercedes. Here comes another bad driver, but hopefully this one learned a valuable lesson about winter driving. Thankfully, the driver was okay, but the same can't be said for Kieran's wall. The rubble that remained was removed because it wasn't stable, and the driver was very apologetic. Like we said, this was a valuable, albeit expensive, lesson about taking corners too fast. And hopefully, one that driver won't soon forget. Kieran told us he and his dad love the Wham Bam channels. But we couldn't do any of this without submitters like you. Remember, if you have any security cam videos you'd like to see in a future episode, send them in using the link in the description. They seemed to do a double take as they rode their bikes down the street before doubling back. What caught their eyes? Some scooters. They carefully snuck down the side of the house before taking off with them. Not long after, they ditched their bikes and rode the scooters around the block, right in front of the house they'd stolen them from. Thankfully, this story has a good ending, at least for the submitter. He contacted the police, but they didn't do anything, so he reached out to the kids' school. The scooters were soon returned, accompanied by apologies from the kids. Check out this exemplary driver clearly paying close attention to what's ahead of them. A resident trying to get through a gate failed to wait long enough for it to open, running into it instead. Evidently, the gate was offended and got all bent out of shape, so it refused to open any further. Anthony contacted the management company responsible for the gate and they were able to track down the resident. Anthony isn't sure who paid for the repairs, but the gate was quickly fixed. Hopefully, this little incident taught the driver to pay better attention. This emitter was expecting an ordinary package delivery, but what his security cam captured was anything but ordinary. Did you see what just happened? Well, of course you did. I don't see how you could have missed it. It seems like the delivery guy thought his move would be missed by the security cam when he stole our submitter's package seconds after taking a picture of it on his porch. He even gave the doorbell camera a sideways glance before he set the package down, then leaned back in to grab it again. He must have thought he wasn't in the camera's view, but that was a risky gamble considering the only things in that package were some specialty batteries he probably had no use for. Our submitter told us that after he notified the delivery company, they informed him that they'd fired the package carrier. We just wonder how many times he'd gotten away with this before being caught on camera. He would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for meddling security cams. Big Dog sent us this koala cam video. A koala waddled up his driveway and hung out for a while before it heard Big Dog's big dog barking. Up he goes. Big Dog told us that we can even hear the koala making a mating call. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sure that'll attract all the lady koalas. Big Dog also sent us some phone videos and photos he managed to take. Just take a look at that beauty. While we enjoy this bonus footage, can we just say how awesome our submitters are? You guys go above and beyond to send us the best stuff. Don't forget to send us your videos for a chance to be featured in a future episode using the link in the description. Thanks for the submission, Big Dog, and a big shout out to his kids, Liam and Noah. Just as this submitter's parents were winding down for the night, they heard a loud bang. When they went to investigate, they found trash all over their neighbor's yard. Check out what they discovered when they reviewed the footage from the security camera they'd installed that weekend. An SUV had plowed into the trash can before taking off, leaving the horrendous mess behind. Well, I suppose that's one way to take out the trash. The weather forecast called for rain, so Don went outside with a shovel to clear a drain pipe. What he didn't know was that there was also a crazy close call in the forecast. A Jeep driver pulling a trailer took a turn in the road too fast and careened toward Don before crossing the ditch and ending up in his yard. Thankfully, when Don heard the screeching tires, he looked up and managed to get out of the way just in time. The Jeep driver was visibly shaken, and after apologizing several times, he offered to repair Don's lawn. He would have had to repair a lot more than that if he hadn't managed to stop. Don said he was just glad nobody was hurt, and the Jeep driver was able to drive off with no damage to his vehicle or trailer. Ashley has a security cam that happens to face the lemon tree in her front yard. One day while she was at work, a lady came onto her property and started stealing her ripe lemons. She even brought a bag to carry them away in. Since Ashley was at work, all she could do was speak with the woman through her security cam. Leave my lemons alone. What you, what you picking lemons for? Oh, okay. Thank you. I didn't know they were yours. You didn't know they were on my property? I thought the tree was, I didn't know it was your tree, I'm sorry. It's not yours, leave it alone. At least she said thank you as she walked away with the stolen lemons still stashed in her bag. We're not buying her excuses at all. Ashley told us that, sadly, random people come into her yard and steal her lemons all the time. Sometimes they just take one or two, but sometimes they fill up bags like this lady did, leaving none for her and her daughter Erica to enjoy. Ashley told us she and her daughter like binging all the new Wham Bam episodes every Sunday. We're happy to provide some entertainment for them to enjoy, even if all their lemons get stolen. Carlos's security cam was watching when a bus began making a wide turn, but the driver of a rapidly approaching SUV wasn't ready for it. Was the driver just going too fast, or do you think they weren't paying attention? Let us know your theory in a comment. Carlos told us that he offered his footage to the driver of the SUV. About three hours later, the guy reached out and informed Carlos that the video had helped him with his insurance claim. Sandro's neighbor was working on his car in his garage across the street when it suddenly started rolling down his driveway. He ran after it in an attempt to stop it as it rolled across the street and towards Sandro's son's parked Mazda. Thankfully, he was able to stop it just in time, but not fast enough to keep it from crashing into some garbage and recycling bins. He helped pick up the trash, and Sandro shared a laugh with him about the situation. Apparently, he'd accidentally left the car in neutral. Thankfully, no damage was done. Mike hung a dog toy on a string to provide some entertainment for the local wildlife. These raccoons understood the assignment. Mike also put some water out for them, and I'm not sure which they like playing with more. He told us this is the third time wildlife has broken the string and carried the dog toy away, but he always finds it and hangs it back up. After they'd had their fun, the raccoons went on their way, leaving a slew of wet footprints as evidence of their presence. Watch what happened late one night outside of Arseni's house.
A driver in a pickup came roaring down the street before scraping the side of Arseni's neighbor's car. That wasn't the only damage he did. Arseni's own car was also parked on the street and received a huge dent. Even though the pickup driver tried to flee, his truck stopped running and he wasn't able to escape. In total, the damages came to 15,000 US dollars. Check out what happened in this video sent to us by Carlos. A pickup driver was making a wide left turn when the driver of a car tried to speed past him. According to Carlos, the insurance providers found the pickup driver at fault. Carlos offered his security cam footage to the drivers involved, but only the pickup driver wanted a copy of it. Hey look, another submission from BlueChow35. If you haven't noticed, she's a repeat submitter who sent us all sorts of videos we've featured in previous episodes. This time she had a suspicious person prowling around her car and porch. He even tried her vehicle's door handle. Thankfully, it was locked. He wandered away, but we've got to wonder what he's carrying. Could it be something he stole from someone else's porch? This isn't the only time she's seen people prowling around her neighborhood. Check out this other video she sent us. Those people were never caught, but that's not the case with Mr. Box Carrier. After our submitter called the police, he was arrested just down the street. Good looking out, Blue Chow 35. Thanks to you and your security cams, your neighborhood just got a little safer. This guy went too far when he plowed his vehicle straight into a snowman someone had built by the street. Carlos told us the impact made such a loud sound, he suspects some damage was done to the vehicle as well. Well, he might deserve that after ruining some poor kid's hard work. Wait, could it be? Is this our first encounter with the cart demon on Wham Bam Security Cam? Oh man, there's no way it's gonna survive this. Hey, it might actually make it. Ooh, missed it by that much. Our submitter is pretty sure the driver who hit the cart could have stopped in time if he'd really wanted to, but we know better. Not all heroes wear capes. We do hope that the driver wasn't rewarded for his heroism with damage to his vehicle, though. Dan was in the middle of building a fence at an incredible superhuman speed. Okay, this is actually a time lapse, but still, he'd been working really hard and he decided to step away for a quick break. Shortly after walking away, a gray car turned onto the street in front of his house. The driver made a U-turn, but instead of driving away, he backed up after spotting something. Two guys got out of the car, one of them sprinting as they made their way toward Dan's property. In seconds, they'd grabbed Dan's power tools before running back to the car and taking off. We're wondering why they were wearing reflective vests. Maybe they were construction workers who forgot their own tools. Just kidding. Let us know your theory in the comments. A little while later, Dan came back to finish the fence, but his power tools were nowhere to be found. It looks like he thought he was going crazy. It was starting to rain, so he thought maybe his sister had stuck them in the garage, but he checked his security cam footage after he couldn't find them. That's gotta be disappointing. Dan made a police report, but so far, the thieves haven't been identified. Maybe our last submitter should get a security system like Chris has. Watch this bus driver experience its rapid response for the first time. The bus driver was quickly chased off by, wait, are those deer? Chris told us a local herd of deer often roams the neighborhood. Apparently they were feeling territorial, or maybe they were just curious. After the driver got back in her vehicle, the deer trotted past to continue patrolling the neighborhood. 
here's a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. You'll see what we mean. A driver turning out of a parking lot failed to see another vehicle coming down the road they were turning onto. The other vehicle swiped the turning car, forcing it into the opposing lane where it hit Ben's RAV4 head on. Ben's SUV was pushed backward into his co-worker's Jeep. But it didn't stop there. The force of the impact was enough to shove the Jeep into another co-worker's Nissan. In total, five cars were damaged in the accident. Ben's car was totaled while his co-worker's vehicles were able to be fixed. Initially, the turning driver fled the scene. When she came back later, she blamed the driver she'd cut off for running her off the road. Ben used this security cam footage as evidence to get her insurance provider to pay $13,000 US dollars for his totaled SUV. Unfortunately, the driver who'd hit the turning driver fled the scene and was never found. Steven's neighbor had a contractor leave their house one day who was about to create more work than he'd signed up for. Thankfully, the driver was very apologetic and offered to buy the materials needed to fix Steven's mailbox. After realizing that the damage wasn't fixable, the contractor covered the cost for a new one. See, that's what it looks like when people take responsibility for their mistakes. Steven got a brand new mailbox, so in the end, I guess it all worked out. Dave and Melinda were sitting in their RV when they heard a loud crunch outside. Check out what they found when they reviewed their security cam footage. A truck hit a light pole with something metal sticking out of the bed. What do you think it was? Tell us your theory in the comments. The driver backed up to try again, but he didn't quite make it and still hit the stop sign. After another attempt, the driver continued on his way and there didn't appear to be any damage to the light pole. Dave told us they love watching the Wham Bam channels together, but his wife has learned not to watch before bed because some of the stories make her so angry she can't sleep. David was backing out of his driveway on a windy day. Suddenly, a gust of wind pushed the gate shut at the exact moment David's taillight lined up with it and the light got blown out. After some tasteful words, David ended up gluing the light back in place until he had a chance to fix it. I'm guessing he was not a fan of what had happened. Angel's mom's SUV was parked outside when a random guy walked up and proceeded to attack her side view mirror. He walked away after snapping it off. They have no idea who he is or why he did this. Angel was able to get a replacement mirror from Amazon and replaced it himself. That's pretty impressive considering he told us he's only 16. He also told us his mom was really happy and surprised by the new mirror. Wham bam right on man! It's no secret that we here at Wham Bam are huge fans of Tesla. After all, Wham Bam Tesla Cam is how we got started. When we say we're just as excited as this submitter with his surprise sighting, you can take that to the bank. Andrew had just finished washing his car when, as he tells it, he saw a bulletproof alien space lander drive by. After it drove by, he ran inside and told his kids, Wham Bam Cybertruck passed by, man. We're guessing they were pretty jealous. What do you think of the Cybertruck? Sound off in the comments and while you're at it, help us reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year by hitting that subscribe button. You can do it! Wham Bam, we got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.